Today I'll show you a romantic fantasy movie called Beautiful Creatures. There are spoilers ahead, so be careful. In the small town of Gaplin, South Carolina, where everyone knows each other, young Ethan finds himself caught between dreams and reality. Every morning, Ethan, a typical teenager eager for adventure, wakes up from dreams about a girl he has never met. Just like every other day, he goes for a morning run to clear his mind. Gaplin feels like it's frozen in time, and Ethan can't wait to leave for college. After his run, he lies down in the local field to catch his breath under the sky. That's when he hears his name whispered by the wind. Curious and a little scared, Ethan decides to check out the old Grenwire estate, empty since the Civil War, and once the home of Genevieve Dutchens, a famous local figure. While exploring, Ethan finds an old locket buried in the ground. He takes it, wondering about its past and the stories it might tell. The next day is busy with preparations for the new school year. While making eggs and getting his school books ready, Ethan talks with Emma, a family friend who's come to visit. She's worried about him because she heard him up, late, walking around. Ethan doesn't share his concerns and keeps his dreams to himself. School starts with a rush. Ethan's best friend Link picks him up, and they talk about Lena, the new girl who just moved to Gaplin and is Mackin's niece. At school, everything changes for Ethan. His on-and-off girlfriend Emily tries to get him to go out with her. Ethan says yes, but he's distracted. When Lena walks into the room, Ethan is shocked she's the girl from his dreams. Whispers spread through the class. Emily and her friend Savannah start spreading wild rumors about Lena's family, suggesting they have dark secrets. The room fills with gossip and teenage drama, only calming down when the teacher announces a historical play planned for Lena's birthday, December 21st. Now, heading home, Ethan is surprised when Lena suddenly appears in front of his car. She's stuck with a broken-down car. But misunderstandings arise when Ethan wrongly thinks she's in trouble because of something she did. After clearing up the confusion, Ethan offers Lena a ride, starting an unexpected friendship. As they talk, they find out they both like the same book by Bukowski that Lena is reading. Ethan wants to drive her all the way home, but Lena perhaps cautious or just wanting to be on her own, says no and gets out of the car quickly. Despite Ethan trying to keep talking, Lena stays distant and goes inside, leaving Ethan confused by her unfriendly goodbye. Later that night, the townspeople, including Ethan, meet at Honey Hill to see the nightly thunder and lightning show, a local tradition. While the thunder roars, Ethan tries to talk to his friend Link about the weather, but the conversation gets taken over by Savannah and Emily. They claim the recent weird events are because of Lena's arrival. Annoyed by the rumors, Ethan confronts Emily and firmly ends their unstable relationship. The drama continues the next day at school. While Ethan is reading the same Bukowski book, Emily comes up wanting to make up. Ethan isn't interested in arguing again and quickly ends the conversation. The situation heats up when the teacher introduces the book in class, causing a commotion. Emily objects, saying the book is against their church's beliefs, but the teacher insists, mentioning she has the school's approval. Emily becomes even more upset and refuses to be in the same class as Lena, praying loudly for protection from what she thinks is a harmful presence. At that intense moment, Lena gets so upset that a classroom window breaks, making the other students even more suspicious of her. Worried, Ethan tries to talk to Lena, but she dismisses him and leaves quickly. Not giving up, Ethan goes to Lena's house after school to try to understand her better. But when he gets there, he can't find her. Just as he's about to go upstairs, he's stopped by seeing Uncle Mackin's foot behind the door. Ethan, still confused by recent events, leaves Lena's house quickly, but soon sees her sitting on the lawn. He walks up carefully and asks if she's okay. Lena nods, but her actions show she wants to be alone. Ethan doesn't leave. Instead, he sits down, hoping to become closer to her. While talking, Ethan decides to give Lena a locket he found at Greenbrier as a welcoming gift. Their chat takes an unexpected turn when Lena's Uncle Mackin invites Ethan inside. Inside, Mackin tries to make things lighter by talking about the crazy rumors about their family. But the mood changes when Ethan accidentally brings up Lena's mother, who Mackin loved and lost. Lena signals him to stop, but Mackin, ignoring this, begins a magical spell to show Ethan their future. Mackin stops suddenly when he feels Ethan's unease. Overwhelmed, Ethan quickly leaves, his head full of mixed thoughts. 
Back inside, Lena confronts her uncle, upset about his lack of care for her feelings and his disapproval of her friendship with Ethan. Hurt and feeling helpless, she goes to her room and cries. Still worried about Ethan, Lena watches him from her window. She eventually goes out to join him on the lawn, where Ethan admits that she is the girl from his dreams. He then shows her the locket, which Lena recognizes by the date engraved on it, her birthday. When they both touch the locket, they experience a rush of memory from the Civil War. Suddenly, Ethan finds himself back in his room, alone and confused. He looks for his father, but only finds Emma in the library. Confused, he asks her how he got home. Emma, also puzzled, tells him she found him asleep in bed. Frustrated by the lack of answers and Emma's advice to stay away from Lena, Ethan gets angry. When Emma sees the locket, she tells him to take it back to Greenbrier, but Ethan refuses. Determined to figure out the mysteries around him and his growing bond with Lena, Ethan goes back to her house. As he walks onto the property, he finds himself stuck in a strange loop, ending up back where he started with each step he takes. Here, Lena sees Ethan waiting outside her house. She quickly stops her Uncle Mackin's magical traps, letting Ethan come. Inside, Lena takes Ethan to her room and makes him a calming tea to help with the tiredness from Mackin's magic. While they drink the tea, Lena shares a secret. She and her family can do magic. As they talk, they become more than just friends. But not everyone likes that they are getting close. Mackin, worried about what their relationship could mean, joins with Emma to separate Ethan and Lena. He thinks Lena's relationship with Ethan is part of her mother's big plan to control her daughter and use her powers. Emma, not too shocked by this, agrees to help Mackin. She uses her mind to talk to her ancestors to find out more about Lena's mother and learns that she is a very powerful person. At the same time, Ridley, Lena's cousin who can also do dark magic, comes to Gatlin, making the family drama worse. Ethan, feeling stressed, asks Lena to leave town with him. But Lena can't leave until her 16th birthday, when a ceremony called the Claiming will show her true self. Trouble comes when Lena's mother, who is in the body of Link's mother, turns the townspeople against Lena, risking her being kicked out of school. In a key moment, Mackin steps in. He tells the school leaders and the people gathered that the recent weird events are normal, not magic, and that Lena should stay in school. Things get worse when Lena's mother changes the church into a dark, scary place. With an evil laugh, she says she wants Lena to use her magic to get rid of humans. At the same time, Ridley uses her dark magic to trick Ethan into coming to a family dinner at Mackin's house, trying to upset Lena by showing her Ethan controlled by Ridley. As they all enter the dining room, the tension is clear. Mackin is shocked by Ridley's power, while Lena has to watch as Ethan falls under Ridley's spell. The family doesn't like what Ridley is doing, setting up more troubles and choices to come. At the family dinner, the mood is tense, as Lena and Ridley argue. Mackin tries to keep everyone calm, but Ridley pushes Lena to use her magic. This leads to a big moment where Lena, showing her strong powers, sends Ridley flying out the window. Ethan, just waking up, is shocked by what he sees. Lena then apologizes to Ethan for Ridley's trouble and tells him about their past. She says that she and Ridley were once close, but when Ridley turned 16, she felt dark powers growing inside her and left because she couldn't fight them. Touched by the story and still concerned, Lena runs outside to find Ridley, but she sees Ridley taken over by the dark forces. Later that night, trying to have a normal outing, Ethan and Lena go to see a movie, but the day's events weigh heavily on them. During the movie, Lena is distracted and touches the locket she shares with Ethan, which holds the sad story of their ancestor's love. It shows that the last caster, Genevieve Dutchin, brought Ethan's ancestor back to life after he died in battle. This loving act cost Genevieve her soul, made her evil, and cursed her family, including Lena. Upset by these truths, Ethan takes a sad Lena back to his house. He quickly calls Emma and Mackin, asking them to explain more about their family's past and what it means. When Mackin arrives, he confirms that the curse affects all female Dutchins, making them turn dark at 16. He also says that Lena's mother is still controlling things, using Ethan to get to Lena's powers for a dangerous place. Worried for Lena and the safety of everyone, Ethan tells Lena that her mother has contacted him, showing the seriousness of the situation and his determination not to let Lena fall into darkness. Wanting to change her future, 
Lena agrees to Ethan's idea to get help from Emma. Emma is in charge of a huge, hidden caster library under the town's regular library, which is part of a network covering the entire United States. When they get there, Emma leads Lena and Ethan to this secret place. She shows Lena a special door that holds the Book of Moons, a book said to have the power to end Lena's family curse. Lena quickly opens the door and starts to study the book deeply. After weeks of reading, the book reveals a tough solution. To end the curse, someone Lena loves must make a big sacrifice. This upsets Lena, and she asks Ethan to leave because she feels distracted by him. Emma tells Lena that Ethan has left the library, giving Lena space to concentrate. However, when Lena understands the full cost of the sacrifice, she can't bring herself to take Ethan's life. Instead, she decides to make Ethan forget their relationship. The next day, Ethan wakes up with no memories of Lena. Emma, not knowing what has happened, casually talks about inviting Lena to their Christmas dinner, but Ethan doesn't remember who Lena is. Meanwhile, Ridley continues her tricky ways, casting a spell on Link and giving him a bullet for the reenactment of the Battle of Honey Hill, an important event on Lena's 16th birthday. As the birthday approaches, the town gets ready for the reenactment. Lena and her family start the ceremony at Greenbrier, while the townspeople prepare for the event. Under Ridley's spell, Link goes on a dangerous mission, to kill Ethan, removing anyone who might stop Lena from turning to her dark fate. When the spell ends, Lena is shocked. She rushes to Ethan, finding him badly hurt. Holding him as he's dying, her mother and Ridley tell her to embrace the darkness. In her anger, Lena creates a huge tornado that hits the crowd. Then, a big surprise happens. The Ethan she's holding is actually her Uncle Mackin, who has been pretending to be Ethan to protect her, keeping a promise to her mother. As Mackin dies, he tells Lena he kept his promise. Inspired by her uncle's last words, Lena decides to fight the darkness. She performs a strong magic, pushing the moon away from the sky to stop the dark forces from taking her. Meanwhile, Ridley, now on the run, is stopped by Lena's mother. Ridley begs Lena for mercy, and Lena, shaken by everything, lets her go. Lena then faces another problem. She removes her mother's spirit from Link's mother's body and locks it away. Six months later, in the town library, Emma runs into Ethan, who has lost his memory. They talk, and Ethan mentions his plans to leave Gatlin for a college tour with Link. Just as he's about to leave, he sees Lena reading a Bukowski book, the same book they first read together when Lena came to Gatlin. Lena, who now has both good and bad magic, sends the book to Ethan as a gift. As Ethan and Link leave town, a burning exit sign briefly brings back Ethan's memories of Lena. Suddenly, he jumps out of the car and calls her name. Far away, Lena uses her magic to hear his distant call. Here, this movie ends.